Welcome to another episode of the Tobago's Festival Commission Blue Food Cooking Step-by-Step -Step Series. I am Natasha Rochford Chance, and today we're going to learn to make dashing flour, dashing pilori, dashing sahina, pepper sauce, anchar, and lots more. I have a special guest for you today. Let's welcome Cassel. Hi, I'm Cassel Campbell and you're tuning into the Tobago Festival Network. Today I'm here with Ethelyn Charles and Cassel Charles and they are both from Lunch for Me. What are we going to be making today? We are going to make dashing flour. <laughs> I never know dashing can make flour. Oh, yes. what, what are some of the processes that have to happen to make dashing into flour? Well, you, um, first you get a dashing, you peel it and you wash it. Mm -hmm. After you wash it, you dry off the water from the dashing. So how are you drying the water off of a dashing? You take a towel oh. and you dry the, the, dash, the water so from So wait, there. I have to take all that dashing and sap, 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 sap till it dry? My lord. <laughs> so how else we getting it dry though? Um, you put it in the sun to dry. How long should the dashing stay in the sun? It takes about, once you have good hot sun, it takes about three days or four days. So once it outside is hot, yeah. and I don't dry my dashing and I sap, 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 sap. I cut them up first though? No, you're, you're, when you peel them mm -hmm. and you wash them, you dry it. Okay. To get and off I'll that water. And them in the sun to three to four days? Yeah. Cut it up? And they dry. All right. So what else happens after we dry the dashing though? After this four days is complete, what happens? You put it in a mill, but we can't hook up the mill, so we have the mill. But first, um, when I started this dashing flour, I used to use a mortar to pong the dashing because this is how it looks when it is dry. So this is, this is after the three, four days? Yeah, yeah, it's after the three, four days. Wow, sort of like a rock boy. Hmm. Yeah? So you used to use a mortar to pong it up? Yeah, I used to use a mortar and then you sift it. So the mortar the pongs it up and crushes it into yeah, dust? Yeah. Into and then dust. you sift it? Yeah. But okay. then um, I started using a processor to slice because this, as you see, I did it with my hands. Slice. So this is you slicing it up here? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So how, how much how much pounds of dashing is this here? That is five pounds of dashing. So five pounds give me five pounds of flour? <laughs> no. So wait. How much five... pounds of flour again from five pounds of dashing? You may get a pound. Or oh, a little less. This is? Twenty pounds. All together? Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's it's very constant. So that is why we have to plant it yourself and I want to see yeah. Miss Casilla do her own farming. Miss hmm? Casilla, I bet you have a lot of muscles below there because <laughs> five more dashing for one pound of flour. Back with Miss Casilla and Ethelene. So the process was you need to peel the dashing, then wash it. Yeah. And then sap it. So you're watching Miss uh, Casilla right now. You know what I want to know, Ms. Katila? What do you just think about while you're peeling that sheet? Just hope that it is good and the sun is hot so that I could get my dashing dry. Ah. <laughs> so, Ms. Ethelyn, how long have you been doing this process? My well, blue food started in 1997 and I've started in 1998. And I am there up to this present day and I want to that I'm also the secretary of the landscape which comes to from the time. Miss Ethel, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I, I, enjoy, I enjoy, I enjoy doing it and I just want to interact a bit with that around. Around coming to August, September, going into October, the people of lands for me and environment always have a kind of eager zest because it's blue food time and you're getting to you're getting to demonstrate, you're getting to always 
do something different from Dashi. I understand. But Mr. Nell, I advise you be careful of using zest right now, okay? I will. <laughs> I really so, will. So, you see, Miss Cassilla is almost finished peeling Dashi. Yeah. So, do we cut it up and then wash or wash and no, then wash? No, you wash it, dry, and then cut it. All right. So now you pass it to Miss Ethne. Yeah. You know you want to be the perfect netball team. <laughs> wow. So after which, we're cutting it up. Yeah. And that is where we get this, uh, this amount. Up, yeah. It's interesting, man. So every time you cut it dry again? No, but my hands wet now, I'm going to hold it there with you. Oh, okay. So, does the dashing flour differ from the regular flour eat? Or does it taste different? Yeah. Yes, yeah, slightly. Slightly? Different. Yeah, but you cannot use the dashing flour alone. You have to make certain things, you have to mix it with the, the local flour. So if I'm looking for a dashing dumpling, what are you put inside? I just put the local flour, just like if you're making cornmeal dumpling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you add a little flour to it to give it the body. The dashing bread, what are you add? Same thing, you have to put plain flour with it. So I'm going to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. What's the best dashing flour product have you ever made out of using your own dashing flour? Fruit cake. Fruit cake? So you just make a dashing fruit cake? For real. Yeah? <laughs> yes, Miss Charles. You yes. all know where to go for Christmas to get the dashing fruit cake. So, this is what the cut-up would look like, right? Yeah. Obviously, we can't wait for the sun to come out to get our <laughs> dashing. So I'll show you what the finished process would look like. If the dashing doesn't sound like this, it is not ready to be turned into flour. So here one more time. Sound like some rocks sitting up over there. Right? Yeah. So after this, they usually come to this process or use a okay. mortar. Smash it up, turn it into dust. And look at the consistency of our flour. All the people at the time. You will hear this one, eh? It's like powder. Wow. And this is all Miss Casilda Eplin. I mean, this is really amazing. Where can we find dashing flour in Tobago? Well, as I see, you're ready to make a dashing bake. So I will tell you when you're ready, you called Miss Casilda Charles, but bear in mind, you can get the dashing flour for only $60. T -t nice. This one more for this floor, man. Just, I love. Yes. This is heaven right here, man. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. Miss Casilda, Miss Edlin. Yes. yes. So back to you, Natasha. Thank you, Casel. I had no idea that so much work goes into making dashing flour. Wow. Now I have on set with me Nicola. Nicola, you're going to make dashing pilori and dashing sahina, correct? Yes, I am. Wow. And I had Ancha. I think I think um, we're gonna have Ancha later on, right? Yeah. Yes. Good. So tell me, what's gonna happen here? Okay. These are the nine components we have here mm -hmm. for the dashing pilori. Right. Okay. We'll start with the flour here, which is two cups. Okay. This is all-purpose flour. Right. I have here the dashing flour, which mm -hmm. is three tablespoon. Also, I have here the yeast, which is two teaspoon. I have here some brown sugar, some right. salt some split peas powder. Also, we have here the jeera and some saffron okay. with some warm water. So tell me about this warm water. You have to use warm water? Not naturally, but if you want a raising agent to use the warm water. So that's really quickest That mix, is really right? quick, the quickest mix. All right, let me mix up. So you're going to mix up now, right? Yes, I'm going to mix up. But I could ask you this. You tell me X amount of flour, right? Mm -hmm. And then it have a certain amount of dashing flour. 
You can put more dashing flour than the all-purpose flour or? No, we can't. Tell me why. Because the reason for that, if you use more dashing flour mm -hmm. than the all-purpose flour, it tends to come out heavy. Oh, and flour is a light mix. And flour is a light mix. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go with that. So, well, where do you want me to help you with? Well... Oh God, I want to learn. Let me help now. Well, okay, just... I'll wash my hand already. Well, just watch me step okay, by step. Okay, yeah. As I do the mixing. No problem. Well, okay. Here, I have my flour. Right. So, I'm going to take the dashing flour and mix it in mm -hmm. to the all-purpose flour. Then I will use my hands. So, I will go in a motion so I could get it incorporated. So you have to well mix it into blending. Yes, you have to mix okay. it into blend it in. So it has to go in even then. Well mixed. Right, okay. Okay. Then here I have my split piece powder. Right. I have my salt. Mm -hmm. Then I have my sugar. Okay. Then I have my saffron. And my jira. Right. Well, that's when you leave the yeast. Then I will mix. So you're mixing all of that before I'm mixing all of this before okay. I add the yeast. Right. Because if I add the yeast to this mm -hmm. and the each touch the salt, it will deactivate the yeast. Oh, okay. I understand now. So when the salt and everything going, then you mix it up first before. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So here I'm adding my yeast. Very nice. And then I mix. Then I make a hole in the center. Mm -hmm. Then I add more water. But I will not throw all the water at once. Okay. Because I do not want it to make it too soft and runny. Right, I get you. So it's supposed to be soft. Right. Kind of firm, but not too firm. And not too soft. And not too soft. All right. So, so I will throw the water. Somewhere in the middle there. Somewhere in the I will throw the water bit by bit. Hmm. I will throw. So that is like about a quarter. Yeah. Okay. And now I mix. Hmm. Then I will throw more water. You don't find this plenty work. You just like to do them things. For me, it's not much work. You have children? Yes, I do. Okay. So that's why you like pilori? I like the kitchen. Oh, so you can make other things than pilori? Yes, I can. Okay. Well, so why is one of the pilori and the sahina you want to show me if you, have, if you could make so many things? The timing. I understand. All right, so you throw like about half more the water. So actually, like three quarter there now. Actually, mm -hmm. it might take the two cups of water. I have two oh, cups of water here. I get you. Okay. Yeah. But with some flour, mm -hmm. it, it, tend, it intend to take more water than, than others. some. Okay. Yeah. So you mean like the brana flour or the texture of the flour? The brana flour. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. All right, so like we just say the water nearly done. Mm -hmm. So you mix it. So I will mix this in. Right. Circular. You have to do it in circles or? Not really. You have to do it in a circular way. But for me, this is my comfort here. Well, I hear you with the boss in the dashing pillow, you know, so I do it in my circles. So I try to take up all the dry flour from the bottom. Right. And mix it in. So is the saffron will get all the color there already? Yeah. So that little bit of saffron there do all of this? Yes, it does. So I squeeze. Right. To take out the air. From it? From it. What will happen with the air? Because I, I know air does make things light, so... Yeah. But why, for this now, I'm taking air? out the air because I need it to well mix in mm -hmm. and for it to rise so, properly. Oh, so the, the air in it will prevent it from raising up fast? Yeah. Okay. Look how I learn something, eh? You live and you learn. So this is my texture here. Right. So I clean my hands. I see you squeezing it like this. Is there, there's a reason why you're squeezing it like this? Like for the same air thing? You know, there's a long time where Homo Granny teach me like, oh, okay, I understand. So, 
I will leave this to rest here for mm -hmm. approximately 15 minutes. You gotta cover it with anything. Yes, I have to cover it with like, you could use the grease proof paper mm -hmm. or you could use a damp towel. Right. And set it aside in a warm place mm -hmm. so it can, the yeast could take its time to develop and to rise. So we on to the Sahina. So Nicola, show me. Well, okay, we have here all purpose flour. Right. We have the dashing bush. Mm -hmm. I'm going in order. So this is going here. Right. Then I will use my split piece powder. Then my salt, my sugar, mm -hmm. my yeast, and my water. Right. So first thing first, I will show you all how I get my bush like this. Normally they use a knife and cut it up, but I'm not using no knife, I'm using my chipper to save time. And it's great, ain't it? Yeah. Okay. It comes out the same way. So you know I might get licks for doing that. Why you say that? <laughs> Mommy would have beat me for doing that. Should I say use the knife? No, well, time is more than eyes. I get it. So here I think I have enough, so I will set this aside. Next thing you know, I get modernized licks. No. So we have to modernize. So how, now, much, how much flour is this? This is two cups of flour. All right, so two cups of flour and mm -hmm. this dashin bush here. So you're only Above using one. the bush alone, the leaves alone? The leaves alone. All right, so some people just call it dashin bush, but not the stalk part, right? No, just, just the leaves. The just the leaves. Okay. All right. Okay. So I will enter this into here. But how many leaves is that? About six or seven leaves. Okay. But it's a different size of leaves. So six or seven were medium leaves or large leaves? It all depends on the leaf you put your hands on. All right, so I want consistency because, I mean, you are a biggish cook, eh? So you have this amount of flour. Mm -hmm. The size of leaves that you use is what? Large leaves or medium leaves? I use the medium leaves. Okay, all right. So I'm good now. Yeah. You go ahead. So now I mix it up to mm -hmm. incorporate right. the bush. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to add all the rest of the ingredients except in the yeast. So that is split piece powder you add there. piece powder. Right. That is sugar. sugar. Mm -hmm. And the salt. And you say you're not adding the yeast because no. when you put the yeast... When I put the yeast and you get in contact with the salt... Deactivate. It, 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 it tends to deactivate right. the yeast. So here am I mixing now, so that it could be well incorporated. Mm -hmm. Oops. So here I'm adding the yeast. You're now adding the yeast, right. Yeah. All right, so let me go back. We do the two cups of flour, and just two cups of flour? Yeah. Right. So we do about, what, seven or eight leaves, the dashing bush leaves, just the leaf alone. We great in it, because it. modern times. Modern times. We're doing the split piece powder. Yeah. The, short, the salt and the sugar. Yeah. And you're not adding the yeast because it will deactivate if, the if yeast, it touch the salt. Yeah. Right, so you mix them up now. Mm -hmm. Good. So, so now as you're putting the, add yeast, the water. That is warm water. That is the warm water. Okay. So I see you use almost all the two cups. So you figure we're going to get the two cups of water inside there. I might have to use a little more than the two cups. All right. This has to be soft like the pillory or? Yeah. Okay. But not soft, soft. Right. It has to be not too soft. Not too firm. That does confuse me, you know. Not too soft, not too firm. Why is it in the middle and not too soft and not too firm? This. But what you call A this? Little, this? This too firm. Right. Right, so that the two cups there. These are two cups here. Right. So I mix it in. Mm -hmm. And I see you doing that thing here. That means you're squeezing out the air. Yeah. Right. And I say make sure it raised properly, right? Yeah. You're well to scrape out all the flour from the bottom, boy. Well, you have to take out the dry flour and make sure the thing mixed properly. Okay, look it up a little bit there. Take down dry. Nice, nice. Put that in. How long you have to mix this for to make sure everything incorporated and mixed up nice? How long you have to do that for? Well, for me, I don't have no time. You know? I just mix it so it go well incorporated. So right. I make sure everything well mixed in. Okay. 
So when I mix, or oh, I go to fry, I don't want to be still seeing dry flour. Oh, ho, so that way we're already mixing it in for so all the ingredients yeah. mix so in up well. Yeah. Okay, I'm liking that. So Nicola, we're going to fry the pillow. We're going to fry the pillow right now. So it weighs good enough. Yeah. Good. Well, let me see you do your thing. So now we are going across mm -hmm. to the stove where I already put my pot on to fry and I put the oil to hot. Right. So now is the process is the frying time. I fry the oil now. You can't fry the oil because you're going to get burned. You're going to be working for me in this business, right? Nah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. I have... That weighs up to plenty, boy. A bowl with some water. We're going to do with that oil and water don't mix. Well, I have to put my hand inside the here, the water. I have to wet my hands, then pick up the puller and then to drop it inside the pot. So that's where it just slide off smooth then? Yeah. Oh! So I have here... My absorbing paper. Right. I have my roti paper. So when I fry, we take it here and put it inside it so the excess oil can be drain off. Drain off. Right, yeah. okay. So I just stand back because that oil and that water and things. So how you know the oil is ready? Mm -hmm. You will see it making some little bubbles. Right. So you know it's ready to fry. It's making plenty of bubbles so it's ready. Yeah, it's ready. Mm -hmm. So here I'm going to wash my hands. Right. I could handle that piece for you now. Nah, I'm not drying the ham because I'm oh, going to fry. Oh, yes. Right. So, here, I have my spoon. Let's so, take them out. Let's take them out. So right. We're going to start the boiler rolling. So, I wet my ham. Mm -hmm. So, I come in a circular motion. Like a scoop up kind of thing. You scoop it up. Right. You can't take too much. So, you use it coming from here. At the peak right here, so yeah, and you just drop and you squeeze and you drop. Okay, so the dashing color is complete. See, cold and nice, soft. And let me try a taste there. Let me, let me just soft and nice. Thank you. So, you're coming into business with me for sure, right? This is lovely. All right, so I guess we're going to fry the sahina now. Here. Let's go. Let's go. It will be the same process as the pillory. Mm -hmm. So let us go over to the stove side. No problem. So bring the water on that side or leave the water here? The water can stay right there. All right. Now we are going to fry the sahina. It's the same process as the pillory. So I'm going over. Okay, so I'm going to fry now. The same process. Yes, I'm using a spoon this time. Why? Did I to make them bigger than the pillory? Yes, it is. Okay. I don't wet the spoon so that it will slide off. So you slide off easy. Okay. And this take a little longer than the pillory. To fry. To fry. Because of the size? No, because the bush, the bush is uncooked. So the sahina is finished. Nice dashing sahina. Let me feel it. So it's nice, good. And it cook right through. Look how nice. This is the taste test now, eh? Your one piece? Thank you. Get your own. Nice. It's so fun, nice, good. The only thing missing from this is more sahina. Well, it have more to come later on. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
African lady. A magnificent performance. But I am here today with Miss Denise, and you're gonna tell me or show me a couple of things that I could prepare with Dashi. So tell me, Miss Denise, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you, Natasha. Nice, nice. I see you have some things happening here. Tell me what we're going to cook today. So we're gonna make dashin pepper sauce and dashin ancha. Dashin pepper sauce. What is dashin pepper sauce? It's just your normal pepper sauce with a combination of dashin. So it's gonna taste like dashin or pepper sauce? Pepper sauce. Alright, good. So let's see. I see you have some, what is that? Some peeled garlic, peeled onions. That looks about what? 15 to 20 hot peppers? 16 hot peppers. Wow, see how close. I see you, you can tell I have some little experience in the yeah. kitchen, right? Yeah. And um, there's some flavor peppers as well. Six flavor peppers. Okay. One onion, six garlic. Alright, so folks, garlic. remember that. Six flavor peppers, 
one onion, one what, medium onion you would say? Yeah, medium. Medium onion, about five cloves of garlic, and 16 hot, hot peppers. peppers. So write it down because we're going to do this step by step, folks. Let's go, Miss Denise. I'm all excited. This is, this is not shadow benny or bandania, we call it sometimes. Yes, that's bandania. So what are we going to do with this? This, this is, is part of the... This is going to go All right. So I'm leaving you to work. You show me the stuff. I'll tell the folks what we're doing. So go ahead then. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to peel, prepare the dashi. So we're going to peel the dashi. Without gloves? Yes, you can. Oh, oh, I just use oil and then gloves. I can't peel the shin just so, sorry. So folks who can't peel it, if you have itching problems, oil your skin, put on your gloves, and then Miss Denise will show you how to peel the dashi. So let's go. So we're gonna prepare the dashi. So you're peeling the dashi like this. You have to get off all the soil. So let me ask you, I see you peeling it circular. Some people might peel it down. Is there any particular way you have to peel no it problem. to get it? Or anyway, what you're comfortable with. All right. So, folks, if you're comfortable peeling straight, you're comfortable peeling circles, peel away. Just oil. I freely scratch. I, I'm not involving myself in that. How much dashi are you peeling for, the, for this pepper sauce? Because I didn't tell the people that. So, you're using quarter pound of dashi. So, quarter pound dashi. Remember, write that down. Quarter pound of dashi. All right, let's go. So, okay. after you peel the dashi, you're going to put it to boil on the fire. Mm hmm. No, I can't boil it nowhere else. <laughs> you go right ahead. So boil, eh? Boil, folks. Boil. You gotta put like one cup of water and put it on the fire to boil. But how long are boiling it for? Dashing has different characteristics. So right. different dashing will take different amount of time. Because but, you may but have I'm a, a average. A little hard dashing. But the regular you dashing. That, the regular dashing that go where you boil. Alright, so ten minutes. Boil the dashing for ten minutes. I know if it's hard, you know, you have to boil a longer, but the regular nice dashin from, but your farm is Palette of Yen? Yeah, sure. Right, so the dashin from Palette of Yen land, so me and all them place up there, up in Blue Food County, 10 minutes. Let's go. So after that, we put our dashin to boil here. Mm -hmm. So you, you, when you peel it, you're leaving it whole? No. You're going to cut it in cubes. Uh -huh. What size are you? Wash your dashin. And you're gonna put it to boil. So what size are cubes on average? Like a quarter inch, a half inch, a inch, I you know. Half inch. Alright, so half inch cubes. Quarter pound dashing, ten minutes boil, half inch cubes. Let's go. And in the meantime, while my dashing is boiling, I'm going to prepare my hot peppers I and my other stuff. Hot so we're gonna clean and wash all the stuff. So we this is the hot pepper. Take off the stalk. Mm hmm It's not burning. It wouldn't burn my eyes. I, I mm -hmm. could stay here or I'd move. You can stay right there. Okay. I'd take off my glasses or I could leave it on. The glasses could stay on. So okay. this is the onion here. Right. Cut the onion on top. Oh, and you know I don't do yeah, that? Yeah. Peel it so down. So that's the better way to peel the onion? If I show you how I just peel onion. This is my way of peeling the onion. If I show you how I just peel onion. Hmm. Are you cutting it in half first? Taking off the skin half, taking off the next half. I see you starting from the wait, yours faster. All right, well, I learned so something today. So this is today. my peel onion here. Sure. Same thing with the flavor peppers. Take off the stalk. Right. Put and it down there. Mm -hmm. The garlic. Right. So people don't pound garlic again. You know, long time used to take something and just... You don't yeah, do that again? Granny days. What are, trying, what, what, what are you trying to say? That I know the granny way. That was the granny days. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry. Okay, so this is young my here. Yes. So I'm going to proceed. I'm going to wash my garlic, my onions, and my peppers. Right. So let me just remind people. A medium onion, six cloves of garlic, 16 hot peppers, right? Six flavor peppers. Six flavor peppers. And we had what? It was quarter pound of dashi. Yeah. Boiling for 10 minutes. Yeah? And we're good to go. So we wash up. Remember how to clean it. Take off the stalk from the peppers. Right? She actually call it. There's a, there's a sieve. Is it sieve that has called it or colander? Colander. Oh, Papa. All right. So you put it there. Mm -hmm. And you then I now? proceed to put place in my blender one cup of... So let me excuse you now. Let me go on that side. Right? All right. Let me get water your way. One cup of vinegar and water mix. That's like three quarter cup of the vinegar. So you mix and it with one water. cup of vinegar and water. Okay. 
put that in your blender. All right. And then proceed to blend them. Okay. All at the same time? No, some at a time. Okay. All right. So how long are you blending it for? I'm going to blend until I'm finished. So put on a nice or? consistency. Okay. Nice consistency, all right. You know, I used to make pepper sauce when I was a little younger, but as I as, as, turn granny now, now, I buy them thing. But like, oh, you making that? You'll give me a little butter to carry you. Miss you, 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 you will. Yes, you will. Of course. I know that because, I mean, I, 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 I could help in a way. You want me to do? Tell me. You want me to do anything? So tell me now, how, how thick this supposed to be? It will come to a certain consistency and then the dashing going into it will become more of a thick. All right, so let me, let me ask you this. Mm. When the dashi you will start, she starts you. Which, which dashi better to use? The starch, the starch ones and them or, or the regular one? As I said before, mm. dashi have different consistencies. So sometimes, even though you say quarter pound, you might have to put a little less or a little more. Be depending on how starchy. Depending on how starchy the dashi is. Okay. And blue dashi better to use? Or if I get a little white dashi? Because you know, sometimes I don't get the blue one. At the end of the day, dashi is dashi. So I could use any one? Any that she goes in the oh. pepper sauce. Okay, okay, okay. But find it well to be already. It's thickened on you, and find it thick. Yeah. It's nice, you're looking nice, boy. You know how long me is it nice? It's hot, that, it's real hot. So that's the end of the blending there. What to do So now? we're going to add the dashin. Okay. In all one time? No, I'll put some. Okay. Just to so make quarter sure it's not... of the quarter pound, so that is one eighth. That is half of the quarter pound. Oh, so half of the quarter. I have a little trouble with mats, but go ahead. Then take her boy. Looking nice. It's hot. So that's about what? what? Five, five, five seconds or so? Ten seconds? Fifteen seconds? I didn't count, you know. Oh. You had to count how long you're thinking it for? No, you, you, you could watch the blender and you know, well, it's blended thoroughly and it uses a spoon. And okay. And yeah. then I'll add my salt to that. How much salt is that? That looks like it's well measured out. One tablespoon. One tablespoon. Now, Oli, remember the recipe. Eh? Remember everything we tell Oli. That is the last ingredient. Sure, right. So, so the, the last thing. ingredient is salt. And there we go. So that is it, right? That is the end That's of the pepper sauce. So. so let me see if I can remember good, right? You said 16 of the hot peppers, six flavor peppers. Yeah. Six sprigs of garlic or heads of garlic? Clo cloves. Cloves of garlic. Yeah. Cloves. <laughs> cloves of garlic. Right. A medium sized onion. Sure, right. Quarter pound of dashing cut in half. Inch cubes. Half inch cubes, right? I get, you see, I'm getting it. And a tablespoon of salt. Yeah, that's the exact I know. Thing. It had um, the vinegar. The One half, cup vinegar right? and water mix. That's like three quarter cup of vinegar and quarter cup of water. Right, so that's giving me a whole cup. Yeah. And then I posterize it. I blend it up. Blend it up in the blender. More bit than by bit. Right. But the last thing I add in is the salt. And just before that is the dashin. Sure. So that's a dashin influenced Tobago pepper, pepper, pepper sauce. Pepper sauce. Well, uh, let me help. I see you have some other things here. So let me help you clear up here. And we're going to move on to the other dish, right? Okay, we're going to make dashin and char. All right, good. I have no problem with that. I'll go help you with that. Give me. Let me move it. You relax yourself. Right, Miss Dini, so you finished clean up. Anchar now, right? Dashin anchar. So which means dashin is the base? Sure, right. right. So, so we're tell gonna me. use one pound of dashin. One pound. Mm -hmm. Which we'll peel and prepare as before. Right. And then we'll use the granny way, which is cut it in cubes. You want this granny thing again? Granny, I love all the it's not about you all. Cut it's it in small spice. cubes. When it says small, so that's like Small cubes, right? Okay. So this is the granny way. Where's where's the where's your way? Or oh, modern day way? You and I gonna have a battle after this. I have a greater too, you know. Yes, this is modern day way. What side of the greater that is? The larger side. So that is like chip side where they take to make um sure. chip chip and thing. So you're using the chip side, right? So that's how much, how much, how much, how much dashin again? A pong? One pong dashin. One pong of dashin, you peel it, use the chip, chip side of the grater, and you grater it. If you're granny like me, you cut it in cubes. 
Simple. No, let she fool you. Right, so when you grate at that, you, I see her thing here. These to cut up and thing? Yeah, so we're going to put this to boil. Are the boil that too? All the way greater? Yeah, you must so cook I the dash in. You must cook the dash in. Okay. So finish product here. All right, so you're boiling it for 10 minutes. So one pound of dash in, granny weigh a cube, young people weigh greater, and you're boiling for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Try not to get no pass dash in. Good, and then after that, what's going on? So I'll wash out my hands. Yes. Which you're supposed to in any way where they wash it before. You mean from the dash in? Sure. Okay. And then what are we doing now? And then we got this rest of stuff blending or chop the granny way. You know I have a mini chopper with my granny self though. So the young people just cut up still? Yes. Okay, well look at that. Grannies just use mini choppers. Yeah, I, I can help you with the rest of the mini chopper right here. Yeah, you can help me with that. Well, what's it, what's it chopping it? So we're chopping this in it. We just show the granny way when yeah. I cut it up, right? The young people thing. Granny thing. So this is the granny way. No, that is, that is the young people way. Look, the mini chopper here. This so is the, the granny. granny the granny using that, the mini chopper going for the modern day way. <laughs> Every time you try this. Let me move out of your way. So that is your shadow, Benny. One bundle of shadow, Benny. One bundle. It is a big bundles and small bundles, you know. It's a big bundle or a, a small, small bundle. One. So that's like about what? Six leaves or so? Suppose I yes. have it in my backyard. Six leaves? I would. Your backyard will be about eight leaves because this is big. What does that mean? You see how not to invite people in your place? All right, so eight leaves of van. I'm moving, I'm moving. You don't have to behave like that. Also, you just want to tell the fine, so that's like about that five seconds or so. And then what we, what we add into that now? Okay, but because everything fried enough, I think we could do everything together. Okay. So we do the um, flavor pepper. I want to, I want to come them just now, just now. Eight. You just come to you just average, cause you look like you're cooking years now, you know. Where does you just count? I just count and I just average. All right. So one pound of dashing, eight flavor pepper, five cloves of garlic, five cloves of garlic, and eight bandana leaves. Yes. Yeah. All right, and we're putting all of that in the chopper. So we're going to chop everything together because it goes on the fire after to saute. Saute, that's a new word. How, what, what, why saute? What, what, what is saute? You just add, put the oil to hot, mm -hmm. and then you throw in the stuff, and you stir it for like 10 seconds, and that's it. That's a new word. So in the meantime, I'll put the pot to hot. Right. So I go in on her. She thinks she could catch me today. Nice. Look how the thing happening nice here, girl. Come on, see now. That's the consistency. That's right, you see? Yeah. Feel like I do thing I could do thing. I ain't, I ain't tongue long enough. Right? I ain't tongue well long. So that's six. I want to remember now. This is eight flavor pepper. The six cloves of garlic. The eight bandana leaves, the one pong of the dashing. So we're going and saute it. Any particular, any kind of oil you just use? Normal cooking oil. Okay, normal, all right. Okay, you know I do have a lot of funds lying around. So any cooking oil. If I have a little coconut oil, I just make me a little coconut oil and thing, you know. I could use a little coconut oil. Yes, you can. All right, so you could use all a little coconut oil or any kind of oil. Whatever oil you have around, use that. Right, you want me to wash up them thing here by the time? Yeah, you can help me with that. Yes, all right, so no problem. I will help you clean up. Right, so we're sorting that now. And I the word? Yes, yeah, sorting. All right. You have to put any other thing in it? Just the oil going there. The oil, all right. So the oil in the pot with this. When did that shing going in? After. I go wait. So I'll add two tablespoons of oil. Right. To my pot. So pass it is. You don't waste nothing, eh? Gonna let that hot a little bit. Okay, so let me rest it down then. How hot is that I get? Like you have a you have a temperature test or anything or just 
It's just a feel for you. Eye. Your eye hot. Eye hot. So that's a new term. You had to get eye hot. But my eye was burning me all the time, so it's hot already for me. All right. Can I have that done? Sure. So I'm going to add my vegetables. And you're going to saute that. It's simmering nice, boy. I'm going to keep in your pot a little bit now. Give me. You know I just wash up the ways. That looking nice. Mm -hmm. What do you have here? So I have one teaspoon of jira. Jira. And four tablespoons of ancha masala. So four tablespoons of ancha masala. And one teaspoon of jira. One teaspoon of jira. And that is not salt? And one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of salt. Right. Smelling good, boy. Is it juice? And then I'll add my salt to this mixture. Mmm, the aroma. Okay, I could eat that now. Oh, that's smelling well. I got deal with the ways. I got deal with the ways. You focus on where you're doing there. You ready for the dashin? Yeah. All right, so this is half from a dashin. No, it's a pong, it's a pong. So I'm going to add the dashin to the mixture on the fire. It's smelling real good, boy. That is she real glue. That is the starchy, starchy one that one in pass. That is the starchy that she. It's looking real nice. I like that. Lower my stove a little. I could taste anything here. So that is the pong and she. We saute the vegetables. So Whoa. I'm going to turn is off the jiva? stove now and add in three quarter cups of mustard oil. So that is that there? Yeah, that is. Three quarter cup? Yeah. Okay. That's the last thing that's going in there. And for the pepper lovers, you can add half of a hot pepper or a whole hot pepper, depending on how you like it. So, Miss Denise, let me ask you this now. You're putting all of that. I want to know a couple things, right? Now, the dashing boiling water, where does you are using the you're straining out the water. What are you doing? What are you doing with the water? What are you doing with that? Okay, after the dashing boil, mm -hmm. you're going to pour it out in a colander right. and put it to drain. Right, the, the syrup from the dashing you could use to make like a pepper sauce or you know other products oh. that you want to use instead of throwing it away. Okay. Alright, so that's how you just get a consistency there. Yeah, so we have to strain out the water from the dashing. Which is mainly starch. Yeah. Right? So the final stuff is that you add the pepper, cut up the pepper, let add me, it Let in. me finish cut it up just now, eh? Add it in the... Fine, fine, or like this, this good? Or you want it smaller than no, this? smaller. So you could use... Well, I'm going to cut it smaller yeah. after because you see me and my eye and them? All right. You want the seeds too? Yes, that's what gives it the spice. Folks, we come to the end of another brilliant episode. Step by Step Cooking, Blue Food Festival, brought to you by the Tobago Festival Commission Limited and the Tobago House of Assembly. Miss Denise, we had a fantastic time today. You did our pepper sauce and our... Very nice. And then let's welcome Miss Nicola. You did our dashing pilori and our dashing sahina. sahina. We had a beautiful time. Now let's welcome our special guest, Miss Pamela Thomas for ultimate taste test. Come, Miss Vanilla. Hello. Hi, good evening. Nice of you to join us. Well, you're the taste specialist, so dig in. I want to try the, um, I'll eat it with my hands. Eh? No problem. So I'm going to take the fork and let's try a little pepper sauce first. Put it in the apple too much. It's hot. Let me try. It smells like it's too hot. Uh -huh. it's very tasty. Yes. It's soaking. Mm -hmm. It's getting water. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Let me get you some room. Water. Mm -hmm. Water. Okay. Coming up. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. I survived it. You survived. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Miss mm. Denise, did well. She's impressed. 
and the cola like she likes the calorie. Very much so, it's tough and nice. So what I can go to this side you now? Right ahead, you dig in. Right, so. As I say, I like to eat, eat with my fingers, eh? because yes. these are not things that you eat with spoon. Right, and a Chinese ancha? Yes, dashi ancha. Surprisingly enough, the pepper. <laughs> It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting hotter. Uh, no, no, no. It just, it just there. It ain't getting hotter. at all. It's just there. Oh, it's not moving at all. Much better. Mm. It's calm, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's soothing. That's so the pepper. <laughs> Good job, you. What about the sahina? I'm still chewing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah, the sahina is very good. It's soft and nice, and look at the color. Right? So you like it? I it's love soft. it. I love it. Right? The ancha mm -hmm. cool down the pepper. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, but everything is wonderful. It is good. Ladies, it looks like you Thank passed you. the ultimate taste test. Thank you. Mm, give yourselves a round of applause, ladies. We did good. Folks, that brings us to the end of another beautiful episode. Right here live on Tobago's Festival Network. See you next time.